Hello everyone and welcome to Podcast Tech Effect. In this episode we'll be discussing the topic of Flutter apps and their testing possibilities. We will talk about what is Flutter, what are Flutter applications, what are their features, how to test them and maybe some development specifications. Let's see how our discussions will go. So about me, I'm uh, leading efforts to assure the quality and consistency of test results and managing one of the Tesla Labs' largest audio and video benchmarking projects. So about guests, we have uh, today Carly Swaysh in the studio. Hey. And uh, yeah, he's quite experienced test automation engineer and also a team lead right now at the moment who's worked in the industry for the past six years or even maybe even more. Yeah, more or less, yeah. More or less, yeah. So yeah. Welcome to the podcast, Tech Effect. Yeah, thanks. Nice to be here. Absolutely perfect. So how are you feeling today? Oh, um, great, great. Uh, pretty excited pretty to excited. talk about Flutter. Awesome. awesome. You, you, are you ready? Um, I guess so. Okay, so let's so let's start off with the more important question, yeah? So what's the best type of cheese? Oh, uh, oh cheddar. Sh- <laughs> cheddar? <laughs> yeah. Why the orange one? Because it's like, it has the best taste, I guess. For me. Well, in sandwiches, it's it's just splendid. Yeah. That's true. So, okay, uh, Carlos, how did you come across the Flutter application automation? Um, so, yeah, well, client, uh, as as usually, uh, what uh, the, it was a cl- client's request, right? So I came to test their lab, said that they have, like, these Flutter, uh, app, uh, this Flutter application and how we can, like, automate it. Okay, and how long have you been in the automation field itself? Uh, more or less from the, almost from the beginning, I guess. Uh, so, ab- about six years as well. So all those six years are accountable for y- the. Yeah, more or less. Yeah, more or less. That's quite pretty good experience. Yeah, yeah, but uh, well, I'm I'm more on the web side of things, not not that much for, uh, in the uh, mobile automation field. But uh, I've had like, uh, well, it's it's mainly a co- coincidence, but I've been like working with various types of hybrid applica- uh, automating various types of hybrid applications. So yeah, uh, and by hybrid, do you mean? Um, well, cross blo- uh, cross browser like uh, applications that you can that you can like build with one code. So nice um, with one code base. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How did you choose to pursue an uh, information technology career? Um, well, I guess I've been into computers since well I was little. Since uh, you were a little small, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I I kind of got discouraged from from programming in my teens because well maths and stuff <laughs> but um yeah and i i sort of uh yeah back, went back and forth uh, during my teenage years with with different kinds of jobs and then i decided enough is enough and i want to learn like programming and yeah I s- 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 not not exactly self-taught but I got a mentor for me and and yeah we worked with, together closely for almost a year and I kind of got a knack for it, I guess, and yeah, I started to apply for jobs. That's uh, the most important thing in life is always to get a good mentor, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, he he was more like math oriented, so that it 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 he filled me in with the blanks, I guess, <laughs> that, that I got from my teenage years. So yeah, okay. Uh, at least he kind of caged you or controlled, let's say. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So you don't go some other way. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, before we get into the more serious questions or before we get into applications, automation and stuff like that, uh, let's start with the most basic uh, question. Uh, what is the Flutter? Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's a, I would say it's a tool set uh, that allows like devel- developers like to uh, build uh, cross-platform applications on various types of platforms uh well the most popular ones i guess uh, android ios uh, as for mobile and yeah even uh, linux uh, windows and and then mac os on, on for desktop even web applications uh, actually from the re- uh, quite recently so yeah that's that's mainly it i guess Okay, uh, is it the most efficient approach to use uh, one framework for multiple applications, or is it better to use like different uh, frameworks for each platform? As you well, it it kind of depends on the use case, I guess. Uh, 
if 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 you have like very like specific requirements that uh, that have like a lot of uh that require you to use like a very low level like stuff uh, from the operating systems, it would be better to go, go like native. But uh, if, if it's like a, a generally applicable like uh, application, then yeah, you, you could choose these hybrid apps or, or Flutter. Yeah. Okay, can you explain uh, maybe if you can simply uh, the Flutter architecture? Okay, yeah, there, there are like three main layers, uh, which is the Flutter uh, framework itself written in Dart. So it's basically, it, it provides like the fundamental like APIs for for, for developer to, to, to like uh, develop, <laughs> develop the actual application. Um, then comes the engine, like which, uh, which basically handles all the rendering and all that sort of stuff. And, and underneath it all is the embedder which which is like platform sp uh, sp uh, on OS specific, uh, which actually allows to to build those applications on 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 those platforms. That would be in a very high level, I guess. Nice. Uh, but 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 actually, uh, Flutter documentation is very extensive in 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 all of these like kind of things. So you can look it up and and yeah, dive into more in more deeply there. So, so to get more insightful, uh, yeah, yeah, insights, exactly. Yeah. You can just go to documentation. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they have a very, very, very good good documentation. Really nice. Uh, so, what are the benefits of using the Flutter? Okay, yeah. Um, I, I guess well, uh, <laughs> cross <laughs> it's it it allows you to build applications uh, cross platform with one code base. Um, uh, apart from that, I, I really like the language itself. Uh, Dart. Uh, it's it's like to me it feels like a lightweight Java, uh, and 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 something like that. It 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 requires less boilerplate, um, and yeah. Well, um, although these are not like recently, they aren't like specific features to to, to Flutter. Uh, if if I remember correctly, correctly React Native has this as well, but this very handy feature is hot reloading. <laughs> Which allows you to basically, uh, uh, yeah, test your uh, your code changes on the fly. Just reload the app in, in seconds, and, and you will get the latest changes there. So you basically add some widget and just press hot reload. Yeah, 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 um, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, there are like some some specific cases where you need to like rebuild the app uh, as a whole, but but yeah, it it works in most cases, and it's very fast to like develop that way. So would you say that Flutter is actually better than native? It, it depends on on the use case, I guess. Uh, if if it's a fairly straightforward application, like some kind of e-commerce uh, stuff or or something like that, then I guess so. Uh, but but yeah, when you come to more like more advanced applications and, and usages, I, I I would say that of course uh, nat native is better, since you have more control. So you explained to us what are the benefits of Flutter. Let's switch to the opposite. Uh, what are the cons of using the Flutter? Well, from from my perspective, the 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 testing, the testing itself is a, is a pretty pretty uh, huge con. Um, what I mean by this is that the flut uh, it's it's very noticeable that the Flutter team. Uh, works really hard to 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 like make testing easier. Uh, but for the developers, and that means, uh, and, and it's very obvious that that that, that QAs are a bit left out. In so, so they're like case. forgetting about the QAs and focusing more to easy development yeah. rather than testing, right? Yeah, e easy like, uh, mm, and and they focus on easier testing on on lower levels. Like they they uh, they have these three defined levels on, on their end, uh, which is unit wi uh, unit tests, widget tests, and integration tests, which they like sort of define as, as an end-to-end -end test. But but for the QAs, you, you probably know that we are looking at on even more, high, we, we differentiate, level. yeah, we differentiate these e even more. So, so yeah, and um, yeah, when you look at those applications from that kind of perspective, um, you can see it's, it's quite problematic to, to get to like a really good solution that can cover all your bases and and and, and you can like fairly quickly uh, automate stuff. And so. uh, 
Is it easier to automate the Flutter application or the native app? I would say that uh, I, I would say it's e easier on na uh, easier to automate native apps since uh, well the the approach is is kind of uh, like already pretty well defined uh, like using uh, Appium and and, and uh, specifying the drivers and and, and device capabilities and uh, etc. So um, when when it comes to Flutter, it's it's a bit more harder. Uh, you really have to look in look at these like various types of um, automate uh, automation testing approaches. Uh, what are the benefits? What are the drawbacks for each? Because there is isn't really a one single like a silver bullet. Um, the the like libraries that are that the Flutter dev team like propose to to use are are, are pretty well thought out. But uh, yeah, from the uh, especially when you go into a to higher level of testing and and try to like test the real end to end flows or 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 even different kind of system integration tests, you can see that that tool is not really that that good for this for for this approach. Um, so yeah. That, that would be my answer. Uh, what would be the major differences between the approaches? Uh, so um, basically what I've mm, looked at currently are like three main ones. Uh, one would be the going like the uh, Flutter dev team recommended one, like using their own libraries to, 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 to test out um, the functionality. And um, uh, the next one would be well to use use like the automation QA engineer standard Appium and 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 its specific uh, drivers, and then would uh, a very very basic approach would be to to like use Appium with with uh, with their um, UI automator drivers and all that sort of stuff. But it's very very limiting. Uh, we will probably get into that uh, a bit later. But yeah, it's it's like a uh, I, I wouldn't personally recommend the, the last approach. Okay, uh, how does this set differentiates between all these three approaches? Yeah, okay, um, so if, if, if you go the like Flutter native route, um, and if you are a developer, <laughs> and it, it wouldn't like really look much different than what you are already doing. Uh, basically, you just add some dependencies, uh, yeah, instantiate some driver stuff, and 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 get on with your tests. Um, but if 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 you go the go through these uh, like third party uh, uh, approaches, like using Appium, it it will require to to have like special builds for for your application. You you have to like add special initializers before you actually run the app and that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, it, it might not be suitable for some, especially that you need to like change uh, your code to, 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 to for, for make it actually testable. So yeah, that's another like thing that you need to think about. If you want to like, if you're going native, then you don't, don't need to change any like code in your app. But yeah, if if you s if you want to use like these third party tools, then you will have to uh, have spe specific debug builds to uh, actually interact with that app. Yep. Something okay. Like uh, how about the syntax of the tests themselves? Uh, is it possible to use Gherkin in all approaches? Um, not yet. Um, the native one. Uh, well, I, I I need to circle back a bit, <laughs> actually. Um, well, uh, the, the Flutter team actually did support like a very similar like way of testing, uh, quite some time ago in, but if I under, if I remember correctly from like Flutter's second version, they switched this. So they basically had this, uh, their own Flutter driver and uh, the syntax was very clear from the QA automa uh, automated QA like perspective. 
and this like old approach um, allowed to to like uh, write these uh, write these tests in Gherkin, but then they like sort of made a trade off to um, to basically um, allow developers uh, like more intuitive way to uh, to to write these integration tests. And that broke a lot of things and a lot of these libraries that that uh, allowed previously like the support of these uh, this Gherkin or or, or, or other other types of 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 of, um, of uh, test writing they kind of broke and and they are and they still haven't like recovered yet and it's been quite some time. Ouch. Uh, yeah. So um, yeah, it's from from that part. Uh, that's from the the native like quote unquote native like flutter uh side but uh yeah from the appium yeah, nothing really changes you can use uh, gherkin uh, any kind of third party libraries that you need to at that given time and and yeah yeah as we know there's a recommended uh, approach by a flutter team uh do you know maybe the benefits or drawbacks of using it yeah, uh, I, I mm, maybe you can explain what is the recommended uh, approach. Yeah, so so use. so basically that that is uh, what I actually started to 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 to, uh, to talk about a bit is is the, are these two like uh, ways uh, that that Flutter recently switched from and to. Um, it it was the the old one was the the like Flutter driver way which which you actually have to initialize the driver and and uh, and drive those tests and find the elements and that sort of stuff um but right now they uh switch to this integration test package um which uh, kind of does uh, kind of looks similar but uh still it's 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 not the same thing it it requires like um to actually control the rendering and the animations and all that sort of stuff from your end like from within the tests, uh, that could be considered like a, a, a like a pro, I guess, since you can really have a full co full control in the context of um, in the context context of the Flutter application, right? You can like uh, render frame by frame and check what what is up, and if if you need like to automate stuff, that from 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 the surface of it, it it sounds kind of cool, but. Um, it could be considered a drawback as well, since uh, if you s if, if you are looking at more higher level stuff like end-to-end uh, -end testing, it really becomes like unnecessary, right? You you can't like see the benefit of 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 uh, rendering frame by frame uh, the the screen in order to just like trig to to finish up an anima uh, animation, right? Um, so yeah, that 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 was that would be like one of the like pros, uh, the, a pro end uh, at the same time and a con. Um, yeah, so. Okay, H how about the Appium approach? What are the benefits and drawbacks if we use the Appium way? Um, so. Um, Can you think of any? Yeah, yeah, of course. There, there, there are uh, <laughs> quite a few. So um, one of the first benefits uh, would be that you are actually in in a very like in control of your uh, device itself, especially uh, if if you have some more complex cases regarding changing like network conditions and all that sort of stuff. Uh, don't don't get me wrong, you you can do it in in with Flutter as well, but it will require like mocking stuff, which is not like the real thing, right? Uh, and if 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 you are like uh, Testing and end-to-end -end flows, it, it kind of becomes important that that you are doing like the the, the real thing. Um, so any kind of interaction with devices and all that sort of stuff, uh, I, I would definitely recommend to look into like uh, how you could like implement your end-to-end -end tests uh, with Appium. Um, other like kind of things, um, I, I I would say, well. You don't have that big of a learning curve, especially if you aren't familiar with with Flutter at all. But there is this big caveat uh, regarding like uh, sp 
specific like things that you need to still know about Flutter in order uh, in order to automate it. Uh, e even if you are not like directly using the code base or or, or anything, is that uh, for example like selectors and all that sort of stuff it, it's it's really specific to to the like this flutter in the environment you you need to um know about them uh and in order to like fully utilize them you really have to dive into the code base itself and that means that you need to know uh, at least a bit of uh of uh of how flutter works and and how uh, uh how dart actually looks right mm -hmm. so um so you still have this learning curve, but but of course you can like implement your tests in any kind of language. Uh, should you do it? It's a, a different topic. <laughs> uh, you, should you? <laughs> well, you, you usually usually you like to match your like uh, automation like technical stack with 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 the product, right? Well, that's the best practice yeah let's yeah say like that yeah yeah but 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 sometimes sometimes you can't especially if, if there are like different kinds of uh if if the product is like big and there are different kinds of systems in different kind of languages and you need to like exercise them all in one single end-to-end -end flow right so uh how about the selectors you mentioned uh are there any differences between them in uh, the different uh, kind of approaches yeah 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 uh, uh, ab about the selectors um they are pretty interesting actually actually well when, when you uh, f first of all they are completely com not completely but but uh, uh different from what you usually use if if you use like appium uh, I, I guess that that's expected since you are switching the driver right but um but they they uh have this like kind of weird functionality about them so um, let's if you imagine that you have like this some kind of like section in in, in your UI like a, a text field right um, if if you can you can add different kinds of properties to it like to, to this uh, in in Flutter world it's called the widget right so you you can add like uh, accessibility like some kind of features you can uh, you can add IDs and all that sort of stuff and the interesting thing here is that even if you have this like text element defined and you have like this accessibility feature that you can like select this element by, um, you can't, for example, get the text from it if you use accessibility like like uh, uh, selectors. You need to specific, uh, specifically use either text or ID uh and 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 that that these kinds of like little things that like s slows you down a bit regarding this because you you don't expect that s some okay you have like found the element you 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 want want to do some actions on it so wh wh why would you need like a different selector just to like do some specific actions but i i guess that's how it works so uh, so yeah, that's that 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 is regarding like the Flutter uh, selectors. But if if you go like this really basic approach using the UI Automator driver and and uh, then you are like pretty limited to only using like uh, accessibility uh, features to to select these elements. But at the same time, it's so limited that you can't really do anything with it. Uh, yeah, I, I had problems like automating uh if if you uh basically if you uh build the flutter project the first time you get this demo application which consists of a button and a text right and i had actually problems automating that that simple demo application with that approach because it couldn't like uh, support some 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 things so so it's it's very like limited so it's amazing yeah so so uh, if if you would use that kind of approach, it would look the the most similar to what uh, mobile automation engineers usually see. But uh, but yeah, uh, it's it's very limit uh, limiting. Uh, so yeah, that's I guess it's about selectors. Yeah, that's that was quite insightful about selectors. Uh, as we know, there are quite a lot of uh, testing libraries for Flutter. Uh, there are at least I think two official testing libraries. Uh, do you know maybe? when we should use which um 
Yeah, so... Or maybe give a bit of insight about the testing library. Yeah, yeah. So uh, um, know. yeah th so, so basically, uh, uh, I, those two, like, uh, like, those two approaches, I, I, I would say, is, is what we, we talked about uh, a bit earlier, um, about the old way and the new way, right? So the old way, it kind of looks uh, like uh, like a s more or less what, what you would expect if, if you would use some kind of Appium, uh, Appium framework. Uh, and the new way is like sort of more closer to, to like existing, like testing, uh, philosophy if you can say that to 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 what flutter already provides so these would be the, the two things and um and regarding the the old approach actually actually um appium if, if if you go completely different route and 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 uh and use appium for your tests you are actually using that functionality that uh, that uh, this flutter driver which was developed before these integration testing libraries uh, became uh, uh, available and the recommended approach by the Flutter team, it actually uses those. So it, it's kind of like, it's, it's kind of like connected there a bit. Um, but when to use them, I, I, I would guess, I would stick with, with what Flutter recommends since, uh, well, you never know when they when Google depreciates something, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I imagine that could be uh, when a zero day comes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I imagine that could that could be uh, similar to 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 uh, to, to um, the same approach that Fl Flutter could use. They they aren't using that, of course, but but yeah, they they could depreci depreciate depreciate uh, at at some point since they yeah they clear clearly want you to use the the, the newer approach. Uh, what's your experience uh, by using the Flutter driver and the new approach? Um, so I, I kind of, it, it was a very interesting, uh, at, at the time when, when, when uh, mm, our first like client who, who asked this arrived, it, it was a very interesting time because it, uh, it was kind of uh, in between uh, this, uh, uh, th this like, uh, well, l l let me say it in 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 in. in, in it was uh, in development. Uh, yeah. So so basically, uh, the the release uh, of 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 this integration uh, mm, of this new like way of, of of testing was 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 very very new. It it was like uh, it 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 went out from beta, I think in. Two months ago, at st looking at from that standpoint, when the client client like had this request, so it was a, a pretty messy uh, messy experience to like understand. Okay, so which one should I use? What documentation should I should I check? So in the end, I, I sort of tried both of those approaches, um, and yeah, and I, and I I I clearly saw the difference, and I I would say that yeah, if if you have like Flutter. Uh, experience with with flutter like e even some uh like really uh like small but but still experience in in development the, the in developing these flutter applications I, I i would say that you would like use the the, the new approach and and kind of appreciate it but yeah for, for me since i i was like mainly doing automation I, I i was banging my head against the wall at first so to to like fully uh to, to fully understand what why why would why would we need this switch as we know flutter can be used to develop a cross-platform right so you have one code base you can just adapt uh, a little bit one side and another using ios and web and android but uh, are there cases when it's actually better to develop apps separately for each platform rather than to use just the Flutter fully? Mm, yeah, yeah, of, of course. Uh, Flutter doesn't like provide a, 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 a silver bullet for, for, for all. that. It, it doesn't mean that, that it's Android... Not, it's not even a golden yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so it, it doesn't mean that, that iOS and Android devs will... will Soon be out of jobs uh, and, and, and uh, completely no. It's a long few, uh, <laughs> It's a long I, I journey to. Yeah, I think I, I. I. It's. I don't think it's like possible, at least from from 
from from the current like perspective but uh, yeah yeah the, of course uh, any uh, as as i um as i said before any time when you require quite quite a lot of uh complex like uh uh complex f- functionality from the uh, os itself it's it's definitely a easier way to go to, would be to to like go native and uh, develop the uh, applications for 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 that specific uh, operating system right and um uh and that's that's actually not all there are other like limitations like android tv for instance it it, it would like require for you quite a lot of work to actually get it working in the first place you i'm, I'm not saying that it's impossible but it, it would require quite a lot of work and and in the end if, if it's quite it's if you require to to like uh develop something like really specific to that platform then you are already like going like looking at that native stuff right so yeah that 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 would be a uh, uh, another thing and um, and another thing that could be uh, worth to consider is that um, flutter applications themselves tend to be a, a bit weighty so the, the file sizes are are, are uh, noticeably bigger so if that uh, is a thing that that you can't you you have to like consider then that the flutter might be not the best like can you maybe somehow optimize the weight of the apps well n- yes and no <laughs> <laughs> hmm. so, uh, well there well how how flutter is built there will always be an overhead so so you could you th- there will always be like some like fixed amount of of additional code that that uh, that needs to be built with it so mm, so that part you can't really optimize but um yeah i guess uh but yeah, I, I think that in in general like doing clean code it should should be like uh should uh produce the smallest uh, smallest app possible <laughs> if if you can say that so um so yeah but but you will really need to dive i think quite a, quite deep to to like really optimize the the to 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 optimize the file sizes there let's say i would like to start with flutter flutter automation right uh what would you recommend sh- what should i learn to start test automation for flutter applications um actually uh for flutter specifically i i would recommend first to like go through and like an introductory course on 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 flutter development uh not necessarily you don't necessarily need to like really uh take courses on on mobile automation it's uh, i think bigger benefit would be to understand how it actually works then to and then like decide what how you can automate it then like uh going this like the usual route of of understanding how appium works how, how to like uh how to like drive the tests and all that sort of stuff so this yeah th- this could like bring a bit of a learning curve especially for for uh up and coming uh, automated testers if if they want to like dive directly to flutter uh but yeah uh, that that would be definitely my recommendation to to like look into more on how flutter works than than how automation w- works in general that's a solid advice uh, how how do you view the future of automation for flutter applications or maybe the flutter itself um re- regarding the automation i think uh well since since it's a fairly new topic and, and but it it is uh, gaining some traction because yeah well um obviously although the tools that the, the flutter team provides for for automation is aren't exactly uh that good for the qas um I'm not saying that you can't live with them but 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 they they could be better right um i i i think that we will notice like quite a lot of third party like tooling that is specifically uh like used for for automating 
the uh, these applications on, especially on higher levels. Um, and uh, actually, I, I stumbled across a new tool which is called Petrol. I which which looked very perspective. It it looked pretty good, very good actually on uh, on handling this uh, this like disconnect between the functionality that you can get if 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 you are using Appium versus the flexibility that you can get if if you are go going like uh, with the integration integrated test library for what would you suggest to use flutter for mm. what type of uh, business position so maybe i don't know was it startups or is it uh, a huge uh, corporations or who who would yeah so what? I, I i guess you you need to look at the the use case which uh, for for your specific use case but uh well Flutter allows you to like develop pretty quickly and uh, deploy pretty quickly. Uh, so definitely, I would say for proof of concepts or for something uh, for startups that that could be a way to go. So yeah, remember for startups, just use Flutter <laughs> to get your <laughs> proof of concept ready, send it out, and then just start the game <laughs> later with something different. But for the start, just stick to Flutter. Uh, not exactly, ah! <laughs> but 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 yeah. So um, uh, I would say like like general general like. Uh, uh, general usage applications like like some kind of e-commerce or or or, or that's uh, e or, or applications in that sort of field would, would definitely would th those teams in those like um, in those industries would definitely benefit from this or it doesn't require to for you to be very close to 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 to, to metal <laughs> if you can say that very nice description yeah <laughs> so uh, these kinds of applications I, I i would definitely recommend to to to, to develop with the, with uh with this framework since well it's it's kind of easy and 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 yeah the, the one code base for 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 both platforms is is, is good but yeah if if you require some kind of uh uh require more computing powers or 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 some not not computing power but if 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 you uh, need like very specific uh Com os complex let's say yeah com it's complex and specific uh, os level like functionality then then no it it it, it won't it, i i guess you could like do it but it doesn't really make sense uh, but because you you would go uh it it would be much more harder to 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 like achieve it with flutter and uh that's why well every time an os uh, uh an os gets an update flutter team needs to work on that so th that's why actually when you have flutter application on a phone it feels a bit less like slow a bit 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 little bit less yeah 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 it it, it does yeah exactly it, it 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 looks like it it feels very native but but yeah it, it has this drawback that uh, for example if if there are some slight f font changes between different system versions or, or something like that you you won't really see it for it it will be like the latest uh, version that well developer uses it it, it will be on the all phones uh, so yeah uh, that that that's that is another thing you need to consider if if can can you do it if if it feels right for your application then sure uh, use it but but yeah you need you need to think of these things as well okay i think on this note we can actually finish your podcast uh thank you very much carlos and thanks everyone who tuned in and listened to a conversation with carlos about flutter apps where we discuss what they are how they work with them and it was a really fascinating conversation if you like what you heard uh, please subscribe to our podcast on spotify or youtube where we'll be publishing additional episodes with uh, different kind of professionals from various fields. Uh, if you have any thoughts or suggestions uh, or any subjects you would like us to touch or explore in the future, uh, just uh, drop a DM us on Instagram or write us on Facebook or even at the LinkedIn page, feel free. Uh, you may find us by name searching for Tesla Lab. And yeah, thank you very much, Carlos. Thanks. Let's just keep advancing our skills and knowledge set, right? Yeah, exactly. And uh, hope to see you maybe at the next one. Yeah, why not? <laughs>